Hello everybody, um, it's my third and final review of the day. Um, it is the Fat Rabbit sub -owned Tank. Uh, all you uh, lovely people out there that use rebuildables um, may have heard of the Dead Rabbit, um, RDA and RTA. But this is a bit like a cousin um, because it's from the same people as from Heathen and Hellwape. Um, but it is a sub ohm tank with the standard screwing coils, not rebuildable. Um, it's called the Fat Rabbit. It is quite big. I think it's something like 28 millimeters, something like that. So it's a big old, it's a big old girl. It's a big old chunky rabbit. It's been having too much lettuce. Um, it comes with two coils. One is the Hell Vape, the Hell Coil mesh. Um, 0.2 ohm mesh coil. Um, they say between I think it's 50 to 80 watts or 60 to 80 watts. Um, it outperforms what the manufacturers say. I've got to be honest. Um, because I pump it out at 90 watts. And it keeps up. At 90 watts, it keeps up. It truly does. It's a big old mod I've got it on as well. It's the um, Wismic RX300. Um, it's four battery regulated mod. Um, it's really good flavour for a stock standard mesh screwing coil. Because um, normally mesh doesn't run that high. But um, it, this one does. It likes it. It loves being 90 watts. Um, you can run it the standard if you prefer to listen to manufacturers. Some people do. They don't want to push it and risk it. Um, I thought I'd try it. Um, pumping it at 90 watts for about, on and off for about a month. Um, I've been pumping this, this bad boy out um, at 90 watts. Um, at least four or five times a day I'm chuffing on this. When I want to swap from the Odin or one of my RTAs. I change my tanks like three or four times a day because I've just got so many and I love them all. Um, this um, is a bit of a sub with a difference um, because it has bottom airflow and it has top airflow. Um, and I don't know if you can see it, but you see like a grey flat patch. Just there. And that's actually your top airflow downward channels. So your bottom airflow hits the core from the bottom. Your top airflow comes in, goes down, and also hits the core from the bottom. So you get loads of airflow. And I mean a lot. Um, which is why it chucks so many lovely clouds. Um... Now, it does come with a second coil, which is not mesh. Um, I can't remember the name of the other coil. I think it's something like CQCC. I'm um, not quite sure what that stands for, but that's a normal coil. That's not a mesh. Um, that is a wired coil. Um, I haven't tried that one yet, because I've been happy with the mesh one. I haven't tried the other coil yet, um, but that runs um, slightly higher, I believe. Obviously, so you can run that a bit higher than the mesh. Um, as it is, the mesh outperforms what they say, um, what he Heathen and Hellweight recommend. Because, um, like I said, they recommend 60 to 80. I'm running a 90, and it's it's beautiful. It loves that extra power. Um, so I'm assuming. Um, the other, the secondary coil that comes with it, wood as well, I guess. Um, it really does, really is nice. Um, the other good thing about it, if you find both airflows open, fully open, is too much. You can shut one of them down, as I'll show you. I'm going to shut the bottom one. Now it's not constantly turned, it turns to open and close and it locks.
so you can't turn it too much one way or the other. It's either open or it's closed because it has the stoppers. So this is now just with the top airflow open. Um, just with the top airflow open, you hear, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it makes a slightly different sound. Because you restricted some of the airflow. Um, but it performs just as well. So if you find both airflows too much, shut one of them down. It will make, you get a slightly different sound out of it. The flavour stays Shutting the airflow doesn't change the flavour. It might change your cloud production a bit, but it doesn't change the flavour. And the flavour is really good at this. If I did scale it 1 to 10, it would probably be around the 8, 9 mark. It's brilliant. Um, the flavour we've got in there at the minute. Um, Dripping Mad Lapes um, do, do the same flavour that I've got, but by a different brand. So... Um, and I'm using um, the flavour I've got in here is drumsticks. You remember the chewy sweet drumsticks? Um, which is a bit like a chewy flavoured sticky toffee, I suppose, and you could say. A bit like a, the sweets there, like soft toffees. Um, I say, um, or if, if you're a person that prefers top airflow, um, bottom airflow, have the top one open. Um, sorry. Top one's a bit stiffer. Um, shut the top one, leave the bottom one open. As you can see, either way, either or, makes no difference. You want both open, one closed, go for it. Um, won't change the flavour, just change the production. Now, to fill it, you have to grab this top caps just above the top airflow. So I've got my big fat fingers in the way you can't really see. It's, it's knurled. The top is knurled and the bottom's knurled. The bottom airflow is knurled and the top cap is knurled. I'm seeing you get a bit more of a grip on it. Um, as you can see there, I'll just uh, move my camera a bit. You see there. Similar sort of design to the bulk in the sense of the top fill. Um, you have the middle chamber where your uh, where your vapour comes up. You have the two filled cha channels the other side. Um, and it, it is a really good tank. Um, for a sub -own tank it's not quite as good as the Odan. Um, but what I will say um, what I can say is the neural, um, the fat rabbit, if you're somebody who likes high wide instead of the Odan being low wide for low wide, the fat rabbit is for high wide. So if you're a high wide vapor and you want to try a sub -own that can go high wide, Try the fat rabbit. Give it a blast. Um, because I haven't found yet. I, I will say yet. I haven't found a sub own tank that goes high wattage and gives as good a flavour as the fat rabbit. Because I've I've tried some sub own tanks. I started on sub own before I went to rebuildables. Um, and these sub own tanks that I've tried before have been brilliant for cloud production. And the coils have been really good. But the flavour hasn't quite been as good. Um, when I pump the wattage up, the flavour seems to go a bit. Whereas on this, it doesn't. I've pumped it, like I said, I've pumped it 10 watts over the standard, the recommended specs by Heathen and Hellvape. And the fact, the tank, the sub own tank loves it, the coil likes it. The, the whole thing loves it. The sub own tank, the flavour, loves it. Loves the extra power. Um, and it does go on for days. The, the tank itself, 
is similar to the Odan in the sense of coil durability. They take ages to burn and they do give you some serious flavour and serious cloud production. Um, let me see if I can do a bit of a side one, you can kind of see how far it goes. Now, if you're into your sub -own tanks, you lock a lot of power and a lot of cloud, and a fat rabbit, the fat rabbit gives you it all. Gives you power, clouds, flavour, long durability for coils, um, it's simple, um, I don't really see what more you could ask for, um, for if you're high wattage, if you're low wattage, as I've done a previous video on, um, the Odan by Aspire, um, the Odan is better for low wattage, um, this is the high wattage, so Odan for low, Fat Rabbit for high, and I have a sub -own tank, this, this, this kicks, this does its job very, very well. Um, I know you can get these at the moment on Dripping Mad Vapes uh, for 28 quid, 28 pound. For a tank with two coils, one mesh, one normal, that gives you everything you could want out of a high water sub -own tank. Now, this is, again, as all my other videos, this is my opinion. I'm I'm here to give you guys advice and my thoughts on this tank, like with all my reviews. Um, I'm there to try and help you get the best out of what you're after. Okay? Um, if I think something's not good, I'll tell you. But this, this tank, if I, if I could only use sub -own tanks for the rest of my life, I'd never build another RDA or RTA ever again. It would be the Fat Rabbit and the Odan over every other sub -own tank on the market. Because this is for high wattage, Odan for low, that's your perfect, your two perfect sub -own tanks right there. Okay? Um... I haven't um, really found anything out of my four, four and a half years of vaping that beats this tank and the Odan. Period. Not a thing. There, there might well be something out there. But if there is, I haven't tried it yet. And to be honest, the day that I try a tank that beats the Odan or the Fat Rabbit, I'll phone the company that made it and give them a medal. Um, because I physically, I don't think it's possible. Because with every sub -own tank and coils, you're going to get a little bit of flavour loss because of the heating up sensation. Eight, eight, nine out of flavour on both of these tanks. Um, I know some people out there like to chain vape. Um, so I'm going to give this a quick chain vape for you. Um, and see what happens. Oof. That is five quick successive drags. The coil kept up. Not a dry hit, not a burn, hint of burn flavour out of the entire lot. The coil keeps up, even 10 watts over the recommended standard wattage. It just pumps. Um, because of all the holes in the coil that you use to prime it, with the, once you fill the tank up, because of the holes in the coil, where you can see the cotton, where you prime it, 
where you prime the coil. You see all those little bits of cotton, the holes in the coil where you prime the coil before you when you first install it. They are so big, and there's so many of them. I think there's one, two, three, four. I think it's four or six in the fat rabbit. Constantly flooding, constantly soaking up juice. So it's never going to get a dry hit. Even when you change bake. Or when you do really big pulls like that. Okay. Um, as I say, you can get these on Dripping Mad Vapes right now. Um, they're £28 for everything you get. Um, I might just buy myself another two. Because I have two more regular mods and I might just put a fat rabbit on every single one of them. Um, I might buy two Odins as well, so when I'm in an Oden mood, I can have three Odens and three Fat Rabbits. Or possibly two Fat Rabbits and one Odin. One Odin for the low wide. But, um, yeah, Dripping Mad Vapes, right now, 28 quid. Um, personally, what more could you ask for at a high watch? Bargain. Um, hope you'll find this useful. Um, and I hope you enjoy the fat rabbit if you decide to buy one. Right?